Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at National College of Ireland. Um, and this is another video in our series of videos dealing with propositional logic and more importantly uh, our natural deduction uh, or deductive system yeah, and the rules associated with this natural deductive system. Uh, and the rules we're going to introduce uh, now in this particular video is there's two rules uh, associated with, with double negation and more importantly the introduction of double negation and the elimination of double negation. Okay? Maybe I'll actually talk about double negation elimination first of all. So we have uh, double negation, negation, elimination, elimination, and then we have double negation, double negation, introduction, introduction. Okay, and these are two straightforward rules. Okay, uh, the rule says, uh, well, from a rule perspective, okay, we have the premises. Okay, so if we know that the n that the negation of the negation of phi let's say for argument's sake if we know that that's true well then we can conclude uh, that phi must be true okay so this is known as double negation elimination we're eliminating the double negation which sort of which sort of makes sense it's really what we're saying is something like uh, uh, if it's not true that it is not snowing okay well then it is snowing if that makes sense yes let me maybe write that down as an example uh, let's say it is not true okay that it is not snowing okay okay that is not it's that is not snowing well then that's just another way of saying uh, it is it is snowing if that makes sense okay so really what we're saying is that if we double negate, okay, if we double ne negate an expression, okay, uh, or if we double negate a formula, that we can actually uh, eliminate the double negation, okay, which is which is a particular rule in this natural deduction, deductive system. And we can also reverse that, we can also introduce it. Uh, it is snowing, okay, if it is true that it is snowing, well then it's also true that it is not true that it is not snowing, if that makes sense. So from the real perspective, uh, <clears throat> if we have a formula uh, that's true, well then it's double negation uh, also holds. Okay, so this is the introduction uh, of a double negation. Okay? Let's have a look at an example of a of a consequent uh, that we might want to that we might want to uh, we want we might want to show that is that's valid. Yeah. Okay. So let's have a look at an example. Okay. Uh, and we might use some of our other rules. We have two other rules that we've that we, well, we have the and introduction and the and elimination that we've defined in a, in a previous video. So at this stage now we've got and introduction and two versions of and elimination, and we've got double negation elimination and double negation introduction. So let's say we want to prove prove the validity the validity okay, okay, of the following of the following sequent okay sequent okay? uh, and the sequent has its premises uh, let's say p is one and then we have the double negation of q and with or and what we'd like to show is that we have naturally the conclusion the double negation of p and with let's say the double negation of of or so we'd like to we'd like to show this and we'd like to show it from a natural uh, natural deduction perspective okay so where do we start let's start with with step one okay uh, is listing our premises so we know that p is true so let's list that down here that's from uh, the premise perspective okay so that's that's true <coughs> We also know uh, that a premise that's listed here in this consequent, yeah, okay, uh, that's what's also listed is the double negation of Q and with or, okay, we know that that's true because that's listed in our premises. Now, what we'd like to be able to show is we'd like to be able to conclude that the double negation of P and with the double negation of or, that we can actually, from these particular premises, that we can actually deduce them particular facts, okay. Well, 
Well, from an introduction perspective, we can always introduce double negation. Okay, so we need to really we have a p that's true in our premise. Okay, so here that's our phi. Okay, and from a double negation introduction perspective, we can always introduce the double negation. Okay, and there's no there's no problem with that. That's a logical consequence there uh, from from this particular premise. Uh, uh, we can we can always introduce double negation. So we can go to step three here, where we have uh, the negation of the negation. Of p, okay, that we can introduce that, okay, because that is using the rule double in negation introduction uh, from line one of our proof, okay. So now we've introduced we introduced that, okay. Now we also need to introduce a double negation on an or, okay. But to do, do the double negation on an or, we have to get the double negation of the or, okay. So what we need to do is we need to get the or loose from this particular from this particular conjunction here, okay, from this and, okay. And what we need to do is we need to get rid of these double negations. So we could eliminate them double negations, okay. So we could say step four is by eliminating these number double negations, we end up with Q and with or, okay? And that is double negation elimination uh, based on line two of our proof, okay? Now, we need to get, as I said, to we need to introduce a double negation on the or, okay? But we need to release the or from this conjunction here, okay? So we're gonna have to use the and elimination, and in particular, the second version of the and elimination that, that eliminates uh, or that eliminates the the or uh, its consequent is is the right operand. So step five here, uh, if Q and where or is true, well then or must be true, and that is and elimination version two being applied to to line four of our proof. Okay, so we're nearly there. We have the double negation of the P as a as a consequent okay but that's been deducted from our premises we have the or but we need a double negation of the or so now we need to introduce so step six is we introduce a double negation of the or okay so we're introducing we have a phi we can introduce the double negation of the phi if phi is true well then it's double negation is true uh, and this is double negation introduction based on line five okay so now we have in line three and line six for proof we have the in line three the left upper end of the and and in line six we have the right upper end of the and so in line seven we can do an and introduction okay so now we have the negation the negation of p and with the double negation of or was effectively from an and introduction uh, of line three uh, with line with, with line six for proof. Okay? So effectively what we've done is we've we've proven okay, we've proven through this natural deduction system okay, uh, that if P is true and the double negation of the of the compound statement Q and where or if that's true, if these two are true, well then we can conclude that the double negation of P and with the double negation of or is also true. And that's what we've shown in this particular proof. So this proof uh, uh, used a couple of things. It used uh, uh, and elimination, and introduction, double negation introduction and double negation elimination as well so we use four of our rules there's about 15 of our rules and actually we're we're forming more rules here if that makes sense yeah we've now new, we've effectively developed a new rule here okay a new rule in our natural deduction system okay the new rule is this okay it's if p is true okay or maybe maybe what we'll do if p is true and if the double negation of q and with or is true, well then what we know now is true is the double negation of P and with the double negation of or. And this is a new rule, we call it N or and what we've done is well we we'll just call it we'll just call it N or yeah. We don't we can call it whatever we want, yeah, we can give it whatever symbol we want, yeah. But basically that's a new rule that we've actually developed uh, and that we've proven from the previous rules, if you want to think about it like that, okay. Uh, guys, uh, once again, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And I hope that this video, another video in our series of videos dealing with proposition logic and more importantly defining the rules associ associated with the natural deduction system. Uh, I hope that this was in some way intuitive and more importantly I hope that was helpful for you and thanks for watching. Okay, bye bye.